So you might be asking, what is vocabulary and context? Vocabulary and context are hints or clues in the text or in the sentences on your test that help, help you discover the words that you might not know. And how does it work? Basically follow the clues and there are specific ways that authors give you clues when they're writing. There are four main types and these are the things you'll be asked to look for in your vocabulary tests. Rewording the meaning of the word, using a synonym, using an antonym, or giving you details. The rewording is often an example. Rewording is when the author says the word in another way that is typically easier for you to understand. Let's look at an example. Resentment, a feeling of bitterness and anger is often felt by people who care, who are passed over for promotions. What do you think resentment means in this sentence? Let's look at the clues. If you wanted to find the meaning of the word resentment, the clue is right here. Resentment is a feeling of bitterness and anger that was written directly into the sentence. That is what you would highlight on your test. Now you try. The Cruz family moved from their dilapidated house that was old and run down into a brand new home. What does the word dilapidated mean here? Have you found a context clue yet? Dilapidated is old and run down. It was worded right in the sentence. That's what you'd be expected to highlight in your test on Friday. Sometimes authors use synonyms. A writer might use a synonym as a context clue. It's one or two words that mean almost or exactly the same thing. Let's look at an example. The young girl was very aloof. She always seemed unsociable, unapproachable, or uninterested. What does the word aloof mean in this sentence? Have you noticed the clues? Unsociable, unapproachable, and uninterested. Those are the synonyms for the word aloof. Those would be the words that you would highlight, all of them, if you were taking your test on Friday. The three brothers began to began to altercate over the game. This was not the first time that they had had a dispute over it. What does the word altercate mean? What is the synonym for altercate? Have you found your context clue that you would highlight on your test? Dispute. Antonyms are the opposite of what the word means. Sometimes by providing the opposite of a word helps us to have a better understanding of what it is. Diana appeared to be a very moral and upstanding young lady, but those who knew her knew that she was iniquitous. What does the word iniquitous mean in this sentence? Find the antonym. There's a special word in the sentence that'll hint that there is an antonym present. The word but shows us that we're getting an opposite meaning. It represents the opposite point of view. So what you would highlight if you were taking your test on Friday is the moral and upstanding is the clue. That is the opposite of iniquitous. Now you try. David was very outgoing as opposed to his coy older sister. What does coy mean here? Have you found the hint? Have you found the words that show you there's an opposite meaning? As opposed to will hint that you're looking for an opposite of the word coy. So coy must mean the opposite, opposite of outgoing. You would highlight the word outgoing. Finally, the final way to do this is to find the details that the text provides you. Details can be examples, they can tell why, or they can show relationships. So details tend to be a little bit more difficult to find in a sentence. Father was ecstatic because Joshua decided to go to the college that he wanted him to. What does the word ecstatic mean? 
There's a special word in the sentence that hints that there is a detail present. The word because shows us that we're going to find out an answer to why he's happy. So ecstatic must mean that the same as happy because the father would be happy that his father, that the son chose a college that he wanted him to attend. Now try it on your own. Brian was expeditious when he left the school building. He ran through the halls, jumped in his car, and sped off. How did Brian leave? The answer is how. It shows us there's details here. He ran through halls, jumped in his car, and sped off. All of those would need to be highlighted to get the answer correct in your test. So there are four main types of context clues you'll be looking for. Rewording, synonyms, antonyms, and details. You will be expected to highlight those to indicate how you know what those words mean on your test.